Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. Have you ever wanted to own a little portable LAN rig that is easy to transport and is as full featured as your desktop machine? Are you sick of lugging around a huge tower when you go to your mate's house and your PC for an all night gaming session? Wait, do people even still do LAN parties? If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button right now and turn on that little bell to receive notifications. We upload at least four times a week. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed. You might remember that a few weeks ago we built a tiny little Ryzen system. What if I told you that in this video, we're gonna go even smaller? Well, that's what we're doing. Okay, let's kick it off by talking about your favorite part. The parts. The motherboard we're using for this build is the MSI B450i Gaming Plus AC. This board is absolutely tiny, and it should be, because it's mini ITX. It features a rear M.2 slot, two DDR4 RAM slots, and MSI's Core Boost technology that basically allows you to overclock on multiple cores and give you good and clean power delivery. And a feature that is probably one of the biggest game changers BIOS flashback. It allows you to update the BIOS with no CPU in the socket, and it's great for when the eventual Ryzen refreshes happen and you want to upgrade your CPU without having to keep your old one or getting a dummy CPU. If you're interested in getting a close look at this board, we did a video about it the other day. You can watch it in the top right hand corner right now. The CPU we're using for this build is the AMD Ryzen 5. 2600. This little guy packs six cores and 12 threads and can be comfortably, comfortably overclocked well past four gigahertz while consuming almost no power at all. And because of core boost, yeah, it's gonna help you overclock quite well. I love this CPU and it's quickly becoming my pick for the best gaming CPU of the year. But we'll wait till later in the year until we like decide to give out awards for like the best parts of 2018, but yeah. We're getting there. The RAM we're using is 16 gigs of G-Skill Triton Z RGB clocked in at 3200 megahertz. I've had really great success with this memory on MSI X470 boards, so I figured that it would probably work perfectly for their B450 offerings as well. The GPU we're using is the 4 gig MSI GTX 1050 Ti. This card is perfect for 1080p gaming, and yeah, that's what you'd be playing at anyways if your machine is portable. Not only that, the physical size of the card itself is pretty small, and it doesn't require additional power, and it's completely powered from the PCIe slot, which means less cables in the system, and cleaner looks, and better airflow. You guys understand how that works. Because this is a portable system, we're using a 250 gig Samsung 970 Evo M.2, NVMe. It has more than enough storage for a few large games and it is ridiculously fast. Seriously, I, I, it's a lot quicker than the, the 960 EVOs. The AIO water cooler we're using for this is the Corsair H100i V2. It's, it's kind of fitting giving, given the case that we're using is also a Corsair case and also, yeah, it's more than enough to uh, like cool and overclock the Ryzen 5 2600. I've also attached some Corsair LL120 fans to the radiator for maximum RGB, if, if that's the kind of thing that you're into. Lastly is the case. Now, this is a little bit of an interesting story. Starthy and I built his old gaming rig in one of these and he still had one of these in storage and since I didn't have any mini ITX cases, I don't think I've really had that many. Uh, yeah, we used the iconic Corsair Graphite 3 ADT. And yeah, it'll, it'll do, it, it'll work. Okay, enough out of me. Let, let's, let's stop the jibber jabber and get into the build.
One thing that really impressed me with this MSI B450 ITX board was that they packed so much into such a small form factor. The VRM cooling, although it doesn't appear to be, is basically over-engineered which is always a good thing. The system as a whole performed really well. It performed as well as the ASRock B450M Pro 4 build that we did a few weeks ago. Check it out right now. And that's not surprising giving MSI's AMD based track record. Like, yeah, all of the AMD boards that I've used from MSI have been really good. And one interesting point that was actually brought up in the comments of the first look video that we did which is up there, is how this board compares to the ASRock B450 ITX offerings. Well, to be honest, both boards are incredibly good. The only thing the ASRock board does that the MSI board doesn't do is have USB Type-C. Right now, I don't think that's a huge issue at all. Like, come on, man, it, it's, it's not really, it's not a big deal. Anyway, let us know in the comments if USB Type-C is a deciding factor when you're looking for a new motherboard I'm actually pretty curious to see if this is what you would choose when you're buying a board. Also, I'll put a poll in the top right hand corner right now so you can check that out if you didn't want to comment. Overall, I think MSI has done an amazing job with the B450i Gaming Plus AC and I would love to get one of my own ones for my own music production rig. Wink, wink, MSI, uh, uh, uh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're interested in any part shown or mentioned in this video, there are links down below, yeah. If you use those links, you'll help the channel. You guys know how Amazon links work anyway. Special thanks to AMD for supplying us with the CPU for this build, as well as MSI for sending this amazing little motherboard to play around with. Unfortunately, we don't get to keep this one. MSI, if you're watching though, those new RTX 2080 Ti's look pretty juicy. You know where we live. <laughs> if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do, and yeah, tell us what you didn't like about it. Once again, thanks so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. <laughs> you peek, we seek. And now I've got to take this system apart and send this guy on its way because I don't get to keep it. It's very sad. I really like this motherboard.